One fall or 10 minute time limit. First, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, weighing 273 pounds, George Gordienko. From Gutbu, Quebec, weighing 226 pounds, here he is, Paul Leduc. Referee Luigi Marcella. Well, here we are at ringside once again, Jack Kern, along with Paul Vashaw, and we've got uh, the uh, Paul, uh, Paul Leduc, the uh, smaller, and uh, is he younger or older than Joe? I'm not sure. I think he's a little older, isn't he? Yeah, he's older than Joe. So, uh, Joe's only uh, in his middle 20s, I believe. Is that right? Mm hmm Oh, okay. 28 years old, and he's in there, and uh, I don't know Paul's age exactly, but he's in there with a really strong man, George Gordienko from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Incidentally, uh, Jack, this is uh, a Grand Prix wrestling goes into uh, CKMI uh, Channel 5 in Quebec City, and we'd like to say hello to them. And of course, uh, the, our French uh, Grand Prix wrestling television show goes into Channel 4 there. So they've, they're uh, very well served in Quebec City with uh, Grand Prix wrestling, and uh, we have uh, very good cooperation from both the stations in there, and they're very happy with the show. It has a very high rating and it's very popular and naturally uh, it shows at the, at the gate too at the Coliseum in Quebec City. Well speaking of uh, television stations where Grand Prix Wrestling is featured uh, we're happy about our association with CITY or City Television in Toronto. They have been uh, making a lot of the national magazines lately with uh, their movies and uh, the way I hear it uh, Grand Prix Wrestling and their very popular movies are very very close in the uh, ratings in Toronto Channel 79 and uh, the Queen City has been set back on its ear uh, by uh, CITY Channel 79 in Toronto and uh, we're happy to be part of a very successful new venture in, in Queen City. Yes sir and uh, of course uh, we can't mention all the cities uh, in this program where Grand Prix Wrestling goes but one uh, that we haven't mentioned in a while uh, is uh, City TV, of course, and uh, WCAX uh, Channel 3 a Television in Burlington, Vermont. Yeah, our friends in uh, the northern New England part of the United States are very big wrestling fans, and Grand Prix wrestlers are very, very popular in the Burlington area, uh, in Barrie and uh, various places where you wrestle on a pretty regular basis right now, as a matter of fact. Yes, we, uh, we have wrestling in the in Barrie, in uh, Burlington, St. Johnsbury, uh, Newport, Rutland, and uh, pretty soon uh, we'll be uh, promoting and uh, we'll be promoting matches in uh, New York State. We uh, recently made the, an agreement with the New York City promoter Vince McMahon, and uh, uh, jointly with him, Grumpy Wrestling is going to promote, promote some wrestling matches in uh, uh, New York State. Well, there's a headlock by, uh, I keep wanting to say Paul Vachon. You're sitting right here with me. Uh, yeah, I know that happens to you enough where they mistake you for Joe LaDuke. Yes, well, uh, uh, Joe LaDuke I can understand. Not Paul. No. <laughs> no. He's not quite muscular enough. Paul LaDuke and uh, Gordienko, uh, he had a headlock on uh, Gordienko, and Gordienko finally managed to lift him up in the air, break the headlock, and just sort of throw him away. Now, Gordienko, according to you, Paul, I don't think he even knows his own strength. Uh, he's oh, a powerful man. Yes, uh, very, very powerful because he's, he's uh, built big everywhere. You know, he's got big legs, and big arms, and a big neck, and uh, he's, he's just a great big uh, fellow from uh, Winnipeg. And uh, uh, I've, uh, the, the first time I met him was in uh, Paris, and I, uh, I wrestled with him at the Palais des Sports in Paris. And I was never so impressed by anybody as I was by George Gordienko. And uh, that's when you really find that. Oh, oh, oh. did you see that? Yes, the uh, uh, flying headbutt there by you. Uh, or was it a shoulder block? A uh, flying shoulder, but the thing was that Gordienko was coming off the ropes. And Gordienko is a pretty solid wall to run into under the best of conditions. But, you know, little Paul managed to get him down with that move. You know, uh, I was saying, Jack, that uh, you, you, a lot of people can tell you all kinds of things about a wrestler, but if you really want to find out what kind of wrestler he is, you get in the ring with him and wrestle him. And, uh, of course, uh, my 18 years, I was uh, a professional wrestler. I wrestled with quite a few of them. And uh, that's why I know the value uh, of a wrestler, because I've actually wrestled with some of them, and uh, George Gordienko was one of them. At the time, he was the European champion. 
and I was Canadian champion, and there was a tournament in Paris, and we wound up in the finals. It just so happened that there two Canadians were uh, in, the, in the main event in the finals at the Palais des Sports. It was 15,000 people, I think, that, which was pretty good for Paris. Well, you must have been the favorite then with a name like Vachon in Paris. Well, as a matter of fact, yes, uh, in Paris, they like the French Canadians pretty well. Beautiful uh, uh, take down off the rope there by uh, Paul Le Glick. There's been a lot of uh, famous wrestlers come out of France. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few of them right here on Grand Prix Wrestling, notably, of course, Edouard Carpanche and the giant Jean Ferret. But isn't Frank Valois originally French? Uh, no. No, he's not? Well, originally, I mean, he, he's a French-Canadian. He's from... Uh, Oh, I thought he was in France. But uh, his biggest success he had in Europe, for the for the longest time he was European champion, and he was more popular in Europe than in Mon in his native uh, city of Montreal. Didn't they call him the Paris Strongman at one time? Uh, I don't think that was him. Uh, oh, perhaps, maybe I've got him mixed up with someone else. Uh, in, in Paris, they call him the Canadian. That's ah. what they call him. Okay. Well, at the moment, uh, Paul Leduc is in some difficulty hanging on the uh, top and middle rope, but uh, Luigi Marchera manages to get Gordienko away from him long enough to let him come in back in. And look at the tremendous power and pressure uh, that uh, Gordienko applies when he gets that shoulder into the midsection. Watch this. He just lifts little Paul right up off his feet. I keep saying little Paul, and I guess I shouldn't because he weighs uh, well over 225 in the 230s somewhere. But uh, I don't know. There's just something that suggests uh, smallness about it. Well, him. I think he gave What's a pretty. Good he's taking oh, his belt off. Belt. Oh boy! That's not. He shouldn't do that. Uh, well, isn't that illegal right there? Oh, with, definitely, with the definitely. And I think the, the referee is being lenient right now. He should have just. Well, has got loop. the belt around Paul's neck at the moment and is choking him, and the bell goes. Let's see what Luigi Marchero manages to. Uh, sort out of this, whether he awards the belt to either one of them or whether he calls it no contest. Let's see what he does. Well, of course, uh, he's using the belt, but uh, it's the dude that took it off his, uh, his pants, and uh, he really initiated this sort of tactic. And, uh, yeah, he got disqualified. And, uh, uh,